What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Last night, we stayed at the Oklahoma Welcome Center in Eric, and tonight, we're gonna be camping at a campsite in Texas. Let's get on the road. Yeah, we gotta add another magnet to the collection from uh, Conoco Station, which is actually the inspiration from Ramon's tower in Cars, if you're a Cars fan. So that was pretty cool. All right, look at, we got, I got a caramel frappe from, oh, actually a white, car, white chocolate caramel frappe from Get Sifted. And she got a caramel, iced coffee um it's a nice little god it's like a it's like a house but it's really nice so and then they were closing so they just had a bunch of leftover pastries kind of like from this morning that they made so obviously i grabbed them all and we're gonna try them so if you ever in shamrock texas get shifted you should totally go Okay, we're at Walmart and we have to grab some groceries because tonight we are making copycat chicken marsala, copycat Olive Garden chicken marsala. So hopefully it turns out good. We'll see how it goes. Three sixty six, not bad. All things considered, I know in uh, I know in Michigan, gas is about four twenty right now. So I mean, it's a good seventy cents cheaper. So I'll take it. And I mean, it's backwards. You can't see it. It's at ninety nine, ninety eight dollars right now. One hundred six ninety one. All right. Mm, that's what we like to see. All right. Goodbye, Walmart. Goodbye, Civilization. Now we're headed to the Palo. What the hell is it called? Palo Dura Canyon State Park, which is supposed to be the second biggest canyon in the u.s which i assume is behind the grand canyon because the grand canyon is like huge so Let's see how it is very professional from these people um now it's a 16 mile journey to the actual campsite just fingers crossed we have phone connection so we don't have to drive all the way out to the campsite
yeah, this place is beautiful. And I'm like Big Ben, electricity, water hookups. So it's really nice. Here's our site. Picnic table so we get shade. Truck's looking hella fine. Yeah, it's nice. All right, we got some stuff to do and then uh, we're gonna start cooking. Got our wonderful new chair set up. And you know, the first step on the uh, itinerary is gotta give him a bathroom check. So fingers crossed, let's go check him out. <clears throat> Yo, not bad. Okay. Somebody left shit in the toilet though. I wasn't gonna show you that. need a spoon or anything? Like a mixing spoon? We need oil or we have butter. Oh, butter. Okay. Mixing spoon? Yeah. That's it, huh? Knife? Nah, no knife. Okay, that's it. You already know. Butter. Brussels sprouts. Spare goose. Uh, and something new. Daring original plant-based chicken pieces. So we got these because we didn't want them to be breaded because we're making the like kind of Olive Garden flavored breading from the recipe. So hopefully it turns out good. Because it's so dry here now, they don't allow charcoal or grill fires, so propane it is not like not like we'd be cooking on the charcoal or the grill but asparagus brussels sprouts are coming next but first step is to just let the asparagus sear grill i don't know somebody tell me i don't know what this is grill them sear them bake them roast them so that was salt pepper and bomb ass big boots in So we're mixing together our salt and pepper to taste and our half cup of all-purpose flour. And this is just for the breading. Can I just toss them? Mm -hmm. Okay, these things look like jerky. They are the least appetizing looking fake chicken. Okay, recipe calls for four Wait, tablespoons of butter. <laughs> Let's do what? Okay. And for what we think is tablespoons of vegetable oil. Ooh, these smell good. If only you were here. Can you smell it? This is 4D. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Out for the oil. Let's get a countdown. One, two, three, four. Nice. All right, now we're gonna let that uh, simmer up, which it kind of is already. Give it a mix, simmer up, and then put the chicken in.
goes in. How long do they go for? Two minutes each side. Two minutes each side. Okay, now, realize you might not be able to hear me out there because it's literally so windy here. But we usually, I mean, usually we'd be cooking back here on this table. Um, or I'd open up this and cook here, but there's not every day we get a, uh, we get a table with like a pavilion. So we're, we're taking, we're taking advantage of it. So it's been nice. It's been good, but I love Texas. I, I think if I had to, if someone kicked me out of Michigan and said, go live somewhere else, I'd probably choose Texas because it's, it's really such a nice place. Okay, I'm gonna head back out there. Chicken's on its last run, and we're gonna plate it. So, let's do it. So, everything is done. Now we just have to add the one. Holy shit. You one cup of marsala sauce, and then, what, mix it? Let it cook down? I don't know. Let it simmer. Okay, we're gonna let it simmer. Oh, God. Oh, you know, we put too much. Because it's supposed to be for us and chicken breast. Because you wanted the sauce. Oh, all right, true. All right, turn the heat back up. Um, this is news to me, but you gotta let this cook off for 15 minutes because if you don't, then it'll just. It just tastes like alcohol and it won't be that good. So, see you in 15 minutes. All right, welcome back. It's been 15 minutes for us. It's been about 30 seconds for you and chicken's all done. Here is the final product on the stove still. Let's plate it. Here's the final plate. Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. That tastes just like Olive Garden. That's crazy. If you like chicken masala from Olive Garden, you gotta try this recipe. And I'll link it down below, so give it a try. All right, we're showered and squeaky clean. Beautiful canyon behind me. Although Big Ben's views were better. If you remember that video, when I opened up the glass, yeah, it was sweet. Um, that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.